Hello, Georgetown. It is time for our midweek update. Thanks for joining us. Pastor Mark is on vacation this week, so you get me. I have four things for you. Uh, The first thing I wanted to talk about is our crosswords theme for the year. We are moving from our October theme, which was bless you, to our November theme, which is thank you. Thank you. This kind of goes with Thanksgiving time and everything that goes with that. And um, so you will find attached to this a connection guide like you've had the last couple of months. And we encourage you to get into these either individually or maybe with your family or with a small group. There are discussion questions, there's resources, texts, videos, activities, all kinds of stuff. So as we uh, unpack the theme of thank you together, this could be a nice resource for you. Also, I want to update you on our kind of our two-week initiatives. We've just concluded our two-week initiative Uh, raising money and uh, asking for contributions for World Renew. Um, And we've raised over $3,000 for World Renew. You've generously given that, and that's going to go a long way to supporting their good work and their mission of providing uh, relief uh, around the globe. So thank you for that. For the month of November, we're going to be focusing on feeding ministries. So for the first two weeks here, we're going to be thinking about our food pantry, our food pantry. And how this is going to work is uh, we are going to ask you not for groceries or dry goods, but we're going to ask for financial donations for our food pantry. Um, But if there's still going to be opportunity for you to donate grocery items, and that is going to happen in conjunction with Turkey Box. Yes, Turkey Box. No November would be complete without our Turkey Box initiative. If you're unfamiliar with Turkey Box, this is how it works. We uh, ask for names and we obtain uh, the names of recipients who might be interested in receiving a box filled with all of the items for a Thanksgiving dinner. This includes the turkey, the pan, uh, potatoes, stuff for a green bean casserole, uh, a pie, all the good stuff. So we have a number of names that we have obtained from Feeding America, but we also want to invite you to recommend people, uh, nominate people to receive a box. It could be somebody um, who has a need for it, a financial need. It could be somebody who you just want to welcome and spread uh, some Thanksgiving love to. So what we'd like you to do during this time is email. We're going to do this all electronically, or you can call or stop in by the church office to share a a recipient's contact information with Sarah. But ideally, we'd like you to email a recipient, uh, recipient's name to turkey at georgetowncrc.org. Turkey at at georgetowncrc.org. Give us their name, address, and a phone number if you have it, and we'll be sure to add them to a list. And, and get a turkey dinner out to them. Once we have obtained all the names, and this will happen in, uh, I think uh, November 11 is gonna be kind of our deadline for that. Once we've re- uh, obtained all our names and we know how many turkey boxes that we need to make, we will ask you to uh, sign up and then ultimately give some of the elements that we need for the turkey boxes. So the turkey box is always kind of a fun, a uh, tangible way in which we can share Christ's love with our community. <laughs> One more update. Uh, attached to this email is going to be a, a letter and also a link to a video uh, featuring Mike Smith, our council chair, and he's going to share uh, some thoughts from the council, a council update with you. So take a look for that link in that text as well. Finally, uh, Pastor Mark usually offers some uh, pastoral words or encouragement. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to read it today. This is from our own uh, John Van Regen Mortar. And I, uh, I've gotten to know John just a little bit and I really appreciate him. And he wrote this a number of years ago and it's really stuck with me. He said, We live in an age in which everything is supposed to happen fast, instantly, from instant mashed potatoes to instant credit. We want service and satisfaction right now. We even carry our demands for instant action into our relationship with God. In an age of email and e-commerce, we want a God who acts fast. When illness strikes, we want a God who will bring quick relief. 
When unexpected trouble bowls us over, we want a God who will pick us right up. The Bible teaches that God can, and sometimes does, act instantly on our behalf. But we must come to see that God's pace is not always fast. For reasons that we do not always understand, God sometimes chooses to take his time. So, as we're facing a number of different things in the world today, let's remember that God is a God that takes his time. He companions us when times are tough. And sometimes when we get impatient, God gives us his peace and his patience. Thank you.